What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're just gonna do a quick walk around video on my truck. I haven't really done one of these videos yet, so I just wanted to give everybody a quick run around of what I currently have done to the truck. Some things that I like, maybe some things that I don't like, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, I do have a lift kit on this truck. Now this is a 2016 Ram 2500, 6.7 liter Cummins, okay? So the lift that I have is a McGoy's eight inch suspension lift. So that's the starting point. On top of the eight inch suspension lift, I have a three inch performance accessories body lift. So stacked together, I have 11 inches of lift on this truck. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up. I do have all the springs powder coated. They're all gloss black, Fox shocks, 2.0s all the way around. Let's see here. I have the BDS uh, dual steering stabilizer here with the Fox shocks. I am currently running the stock um, track bar and the sway bar, all that stock still right now. I'm just not sure what I want to do to it yet. Um, I did try a Thurin adjustable track bar, but I was having some issues making it perfectly adjusted. I was getting a lot of cracking noises, um, which I really didn't like, and I really just couldn't get it dialed in. So instead of playing around with it, I just yanked it back out and put the stock one back in, and it seems fine. So, um, But eventually in the near future, I do want to get some type of uh, steering component upgrades and uh, we'll do that. But as of right now, that's all pretty much stock. So walking around over here, I do have pretty much a stock bumper here. I have it painted gray to match the truck. I did put some new fog lights in here this past week. So I got nice brand new fog lights in. I have upgraded the factory tow hooks to the uh, shackles here, which I'll probably end up getting those powder coated uh, gloss black or something down the road, but those are some aftermarket shackles I got on Amazon. I got a uh, updated uh, mesh grill here. I think I got that on eBay, had it painted all around here, had all that painted to match. So I got that grill. Spider headlights, those are in here. I do have a Ram Air hood. That's a custom hood I got off actually eBay. Um, so I got this custom hood here. It is functional. So the air actually routes down closer to where your air intake is. So that works out pretty now. Plus it looks pretty sick. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, cab lights up top. As you can see, maybe in a previous video, I did have those tinted. I did those myself. So I did tint out the cab lights up top. They're working pretty well. Oh, let's see over here, coming around the side. These are actually gonna be the Bushwhacker Max Coverage Fender Flares. I did order those off custom offsets. Um, they came in, I had my buddy custom paint them to match the truck, so that's what those are. Uh, I really like them, they do come out pretty far and uh, give it a nice aggressive look, so I'm really happy with those. Those are the Bushwhacker Max Coverage Fender Flares. Um, coming down the side, really, I mean, I tinted out some of the marker lights. I got the uh, Goodyear window deflectors all the way around, which I really like those, very flexible. So if you look up here, very flexible. They don't snap, they don't break. Uh, very, very good. I'm really happy with those. So I got those off Amazon, but they're the Goodyear flexible ones, which are really neat. Next, what we have are some RBP Stealth power running boards, but these are the extended version. So they come down about three inches lower than the normal, which really comes in handy when you're trying to get into a lifted truck like this. So those are the RBP um, Stealth Extended Power Steps. So I have those on there as well. Let's see here, all the windows are all tinted out. Got that. Let's see here. Oh, um, it is fully deleted and tuned. So it's EFI tuned and uh, fully deleted. And I am running a Flow Pro five inch straight pipe straight back, exhausting out the back. Uh, I got actually that kit, it was really hard to find it, um, but I found that on Amazon as well. There was only a couple left, so I was able to get that and I did that on myself. So I do have that. Uh, I got this real nice exhaust tip from Locally Hated. I actually won that as a giveaway online. So I like the way it looks real big. That's a five inch inlet with an eight inch outlet. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, changed out the back, got a black Ram. Let's see what top here, I got the Tiger. Um, trifold tonneau cover on here, so that's pretty neat. I actually really like these trifold tonneau covers. So far, I've been really happy with this one. Normally, I buy uh, a couple other brands, but they tend to be about 500 bucks. I got this for 200 bucks, and so far, it seems to be performing just as good as some of the higher cost ones. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, again, spider spider lights all the way around. I got the new decal here put on this week on the back window here got that on amazon that actually turned out really well uh, i'm really happy with that tinted out my back marker light up there got that tinted out uh going around the side here let's see what we got that's pretty much the same thing as far as my wheels and tires these are the tis off-road 544 bl for the black milled um Really happy with the rims overall. They're really, really nice. And um, they are matched up with a, an Atoro Trailblade Boss 40 by 14 and a half. Um, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit not sure about the tires. Love the rims, but I don't think I like the tires. Um, and here's why, okay? The, the, the look of the tire, I really, really like. I love the aggressive look. I like how they're shaped like knives. It's a really cool looking tire. I'm having some balancing issues with my tires and I have since day one. I'm trying to work it out with the company I got them from. We're trying to see if we can file a warranty claim or see if I can get them replaced with something else, but they just do not balance. Um, I get a lot of shaking and vibration when I'm driving. I even went to a uh, tire shop and they checked them all out. The tire weights that I needed to put on there, now these are balance beads in here, but they did not balance them at all. So. What's happening is each tire needed anywhere from three to 11 ounces to even get them close to being balanced. So, sorry for the wind, guys. I feel like every time I'm trying to film a video, it's always windy out here. Let me see if I can come over here. Maybe the truck will block the wind. But either way, again, I like the rims. I just don't like the tires, and I'm probably gonna be trying to replace those tires soon. They're not bad. I'm not saying they're horrible. They're, they're a good costing tire, very meaty. I mean, they look really good. I mean, the tread depth is, I mean, these are some really cool looking tires. I'm just having a hard time getting them balanced. And you don't even really notice, the, notice it that much until you're driving about 50 or 60 miles per hour. So if you're more of a local driver, these are still good tires. But if you're driving any kind of highway speeds, and I know, I know, before anybody comments, I know big giant mud tires are not supposed to ride like a Cadillac. I get that. But the whole front end of your truck shouldn't be shaking when you're driving 50 to 60 miles per hour either. So that's just my two cents on those tires. Again, I like the way they look. I'm just having trouble with this set getting a balance. And who knows, maybe I got a, a crappy set of tires and, and it's just one of those one-off things that happens. I mean, that's a possibility too, because the Toro did have some trouble back in the day with um having you know tires that balance properly so maybe i got a bad set i don't know but i'm trying to work all that out now but again love the tis wheels not a big fan of the toro tires that i have on there right now uh, besides that let's see what else do i have going on with my truck here uh, i do have let me see if i can open it up i do have a uh Pretty basic interior. I don't have much going on in here. I do have some custom leather upholstery um, covers coming that I'm going to be putting on hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So they're going to be all blacked out leather, leather custom seat covers. So I'll be putting that on. Um, you know, the WeatherTech floor mats. I like those. Pretty basic. Um, I have some, a bunch of LED lighting, which I'll go over here in a little bit. But uh, I have all my LED hooked up to my auxiliary switches over here. So I have that going on. Let me just pop the hood here. Okay, so I got a giant goodness AFE air intake here. Um, not sure if this is the right one. This actually came with the truck when I got it. I don't think this was maybe the right one for this year because uh, we actually had to kind of do a cutout in the hood for this large box to fit but it still works out pretty good but it, who knows it could just be because again this is an aftermarket hood so keep in mind this is an aftermarket hood th that might not have been matched to this intake so you remember it's a functioning air dam that comes down and drops the air off right here which is right above here 
it doesn't quite put it where I want it, but it's not a big deal. I have it all cut out, but again, but as you can see here, it's missing a few parts, but you know, they fell off, you know, things like that happen. And uh, I do plan on doing some more upgrades in here in the near future. I do want to get a, uh, a new boost tube, maybe an air horn here. Um, probably, eventually I might replace this AFE intake with something else. Not sure yet, I'm still working on that. Someday down the road, I'd like to maybe do a uh, compound turbo, something like that. But before I start getting into anything like that, that's gonna start boosting my horsepower even more than it already is, I'm probably gonna end up putting some money into a, maybe a re-gear, upgrading my gears on here and maybe doing a transmission rebuild down the road. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to do the research on it, what I wanna do with any of that. But as of right now, um, it is tuned. I could probably get probably over 500 horsepower out of this on a full tune very easily. Um, I don't really, you know, do burnouts or anything like that, but I could definitely get well over 500 horsepower out of this, uh, which is no problem at all. So other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much a basic runaround. I don't really have anything else. I got wheel rings um, behind the tires here. It's kind of hard to see them on right now, but I do have wheel rings. If you check out one of my other videos or post you on my Instagram channel, you'll see that there I do have them lit up, but I do have wheel rings. I do have rock lights. I do have custom interior lights um, all hooked up to those auxiliary switches. Um, I am going to be getting some new custom lights I'm going to put through the engine bay. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm actually going to be running them through the grill, through the engine bay. And uh, I have a couple things I want to try to do. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be looking pretty neat. So again, I have full LEDs all the way around. But overall, I love the truck. Um, can't complain about it. I like driving it. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's a great, it's a great looking truck. Really happy with it overall. And again, if anybody has any questions about anything, feel free to, uh, you know, leave me a comment, whatever you got to do, let me know. Uh, it, has a, it just has a regular plastic bed liner in the bed, but eventually I'll probably replace that with something else as well. But overall, that's my truck. I mean, it's not perfect. It has a few little dings in it. That's the one thing that I want you guys to know that, you know, n when you see these pictures and videos online, keep in mind, vehicles always look good in the right lighting after a nice good wash and wax they always look perfect right but trust me most of those trucks out there they have blemishes mine i have i have them as well here i'll, I'll show you one right here you kind of got to catch it i have a little door ding right there oh you see it right there i have a little door ding it's about the size of a, a nickel you can't really even tell until you catch it at the right light so i do want to try to see if i can get that fixed um Obviously, it opened up the door up against a pole or something like that at some point. And I do have one over on this side. Can't remember where it was. Oh, right here. Same thing. A little tiny nick right there, a little little dent there. Same thing. Probably opened it up to a pole at some point. Don't re I don't actually even remember how or when it happened, but it's there. So I got that blemish. Keep in mind, anytime you have large rims and tires like this, these are 24 by 14 inch rims on a 40 inch tire, 14 and a half inches wide. You're gonna throw all kinds of crap up the side of your truck. That's why I do like the max coverage fender flares. They do help with that. But as you can see, I haven't washed my truck because I wanted to show you guys. It still gets stuff splattered all over it. And you get a couple nicks here and there. You know, I got a couple, I can't really remember where. It's dirty, so it's kind of hard to tell. But I do have a couple little tiny chips in the paint. Um, just from the rocks coming up hitting it so i mean it just is what it is it comes with the territory so again guys that's it that's my truck i mean that's pretty much what i've been working on i still have a lot that i still want to do to it again i do want to probably do something with these tires i'm probably going to try to get a new set or maybe upgrade to some nittos or toyos my last tires that i had on here were the toyo toyo open country uh, 40 by 15 and a half inch tires I like them. They work. They drove nice. They work perfectly fine. They're just more expensive. And this this time around, I wanted to try these Toros out, which they cost about maybe twelve hundred dollars less for the whole set compared to some Toyos or Nittos. So, but still, you know, when you get a couple grand tied up in tires, they look good, absolutely, but they don't drive that great at high highway speeds. So, maybe again, maybe I just got a bad set of tires. 
that's possible. I'm hoping that I can get that all worked out with the uh, company I bought them from, but we'll see what happens and stay tuned. I'll keep you posted on all that. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much about it. So some of the things I still want to do, I do want to maybe have my front bumper repainted. It's getting a lot of nicks and a lot of just damage done to it. You know, you're getting a lot of nicks here. I mean, it's your front bumper. It's going to take a beating. So I do want to get that fixed there. Um, I do have to have it reset because when I had the um, body lifts put on it, they put the bumper brackets on. I think the one, the bumper slid down on the bracket a little bit. That's why this side's a tiny bit lower than that side, but I'm gonna have them redo that. The next thing I am gonna be working on is a custom four x four linkage. Now, a lot of guys out there might not have this problem because they have, you know, maybe a big horn or something that has all the electronic four wheel drive. Being that this was an originally a tradesman model, it had the, the shifter on the floor, the linkage. So let me try to give you a general idea. Right here your 4x4 linkage on the floor keep in mind a lot of guys might not know this but when you start lifting your truck up on a lift kit body lift whatever it may be you're going to throw the geometry off on your your linkage as well let me see if i can get under there and show you where are you at all right hold on a second all right you see this up here that bracket, I've already had a, a shop working on some customizing some things there. As you can see, that's not the factory linkage. We've tried a couple things to make it work. And trust me, when you have a lifted truck like this, your, your four by four linkage is not gonna be right. And here, I'll show you what the factory one looks like. Let me go in the garage. So here's your factory 4x4 linkage, okay? It comes down pretty much something like that. It comes like up, comes down, hits that lever. That's based off stock geometry. Once you lift the truck up like this, that geometry is out the door. So you're gonna need some type of custom linkage. Now, it's not a big deal, and it really hasn't been a big deal with me just because I don't use the 4x4 on this truck that often usually only in the winter i mean i'm from pennsylvania so we do get some pretty cold snowy winters here but um, normally when i do need it i honestly i could just reach underneath the the, the driver's side door here grab that linkage pop it in four wheel drive pop it out super easy so it hasn't really bothered me because i don't use it that much but i am just kind of getting sick of crawling under the truck so uh, as of right now i do have a shop custom building me a custom cable shifter uh, for this so once I get that done, I'll have that installed. I'll show you guys what that does, but that should fix that whole problem there. So that's probably the next thing I'm doing on my truck is, um, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing on my truck is fixing these tires. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with these tires because you know they're driving me nuts. I'm very anal about that type of stuff. So yeah, I don't drive 60 plus miles per hour too often, but it's the point. I, don't, I like to know that if I am gonna go on the road driving 60 miles per hour, I don't wanna deal with vibrations and shaking. So. First thing I'm gonna be doing is getting these tires figured out. That's what's number one priority. Number two, I'm working on that cable shifter. Uh, that should be done hopefully here in the next few weeks. Um, figure that out from there. Um, over the next couple weeks, my custom leather cover, seat covers and all that will be coming in. So I'll be getting those installed, put in. Eventually I do wanna put a whole new um, stereo unit in here, get that all updated. Probably paint the, new, the front bumper, get that repainted again. So it's a work in progress. I mean, that's really what these are. These are hobbies. This kind of a truck or a car, motorcycle, whatever the case is, these are a hobby. So what happens is that you're constantly working on it. You know, they are money pits. Don't don't get any, don't let anybody tell you any differently. They're sort of a waste of money. I mean, obviously any vehicle is a waste of money, but it's a hobby. I enjoy it just like many other people do. So it just comes with the territory. You know what you're getting into when you're customizing vehicles like this so it is what it is but that's it guys that's my truck in a nutshell i just wanted to kind of give you a quick run around of what i've done to it so far what i have in it and i'll go from there okay everybody that is it i just wanted to give you a quick walk around on my truck on what i've done to it thus far and what i still plan to do with it as again 
these types of trucks and custom vehicles are a constant work in progress so we're always working on them always coming up with new things that we want to do with them and constantly making changes so again stay tuned there's always going to be new things coming with this truck so that's it guys let me know what you think go ahead and hit that thumbs up button uh subscribe to the channel leave a comment let me know what you like let me know what you don't like uh, let me know what you think about my truck so far, if you have any suggestions of things uh, I should do to it in the near future. And again, we'll go from there. And again, as always, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate all of you who are supporting the channel, subscribing to the channel. It definitely helps me out. So uh, stay tuned. There's always new videos to come. And as always, see you in the next video.